first epistle of John, chapter 5, verse 7, has been taken out as a fabrication in the RSV and it is came into the footnote. Joseph Register 20 and 19 debunked. If you do not believe, let's go to further. Matthew chapter 3, verse 11. John the Baptist said that the one who is coming after me, about the laces, the tying the laces, that he is more superior than me and he will baptize you with the fire. One place, that book of Acts chapter 1 is written, he will baptize you with the fire and water. And Matthew 28, 19 says, he will baptize you with the Father, Son and the Holy Ghost. Even these baptisms are contradictory to one another. This is how good your documents are. And nowhere Jesus Christ in the entire Bible ever baptized anyone in the name of Father, Son and the Holy Ghost. Because John the Baptist said when he will come, whom I cannot even tie his laces, he will baptize you with fire. Book of Acts, Epistle, another Luke. Luke says that when he will come, he will baptize you with fire and water, two entities. Where did Jesus baptize anyone with fire and water? Show me one verse. Show me. Where did he baptize anyone with these things? All creeping into the scriptures, talking statements and no results. So, Trinity, another debunked. So what's the result? No Trinity is to be found in the Bible. It is the creation of the church. 325 AD, Council of Nicaea by Constantinople in Turkey, Antioch, where the representatives came all over, all over the different ideologies and the sects. By the showing of hands, they anointed Jesus God. And Trinitarian to be the final official religion of Rome as well as Turkey. Because Constantine was ruling there and he changed Europe into Trinitarian. Ask these Christians why don't they tell you these stories. Ask them. And then after this converting, these people, rest of them were persecuted. That is why when Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu came in 600, Constantine, the Constantinian Trinitarians were more than Unitarians. And they were ruling half of the Europe because it was happened in Constantine, uh, this uh, 325 AD, before 300 years of Prophet Sallallahu's birth and whole of the Europe became Christian as a Trinitarian. Few of the Trinitarians, they also put Mary, Hail Mary into the Trinity. Those sect was finished. And then later on they added Holy Ghost, Jibreel, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Gabriel, alayhi salam, into the concept of Trinity. My dear brothers and sisters, the final verdict I'm going to pass. Nowhere in the Bible Jesus ever te taught about Trinity, even calling himself God. He never said, I am God, worship me. He never said, I'm the part of the Trinity. But on the contrary, he said that, Shama Israel, Adna Ilahainu, Adna Ikhad, here, O Israel, our God, our Lord is one, in Mark chapter 16. And then in another place, he said that, copied this formula from Deuteronomy chapter 6 where Moses said the same thing that our God Shema Israel here Israel our Lord our God is one Quran says Ahad one the Bible says one and then Jesus further says that oh God Almighty you are the only true God and you have sent me into the world I have finished my work give me my reward I'm ending by Matthew 23 9 and Jesus says and call no man your father on this earth as there is only one your father which you are in the heaven.